Hello everyone. In the previous session, we learned about the read column and read row activities. Now, in this session, we are going to learn about the read cell formula. So, let me switch to Excel first. If you see in the previous session, we have learned how to read the entire column data by using read column and also we have seen how to read the entire row data by using read row. Now if you see in my Excel, you know, we have used the same Excel for the Excel operations. Now if you see I'm having student name, class and the student marks which they got in their respective subjects, right? Now if you see, I want to calculate the sum of the marks which they got it. Okay, now if you see what I'm going to do, I'm going to sum of these marks and I'm going to calculate as total. Total is nothing but sum of the marks they have got it in their subjects, right? So Amir he, is the student name which he got English 92, Hindi 85, and if you see Telugu, Math, Science, Social, and so on, he got the respective marks, right? Now, how can I go ahead and calculate? The sum of the marks is nothing but the total. If you see the formula over here, that is equal to sum of from CH is the cell number and till H, uh, H2 is the sum of the marks that which you are going to get it. Now, to you, this is the formula to sum of the marks, right? And also, if you see the percentage, how can we get the percentage? Total marks divided by 600 into 100 is the percentage of the marks he is going to be getting by using this formula. Now, how can I read the formula? What kind of formula he has used for the total and what kind of formula he has used for the percentage? How can we know, how can we find this by using UiPath Studio? Let me switch to UiPath Studio. Now let me go to the projects. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add one more sequence over here. For every practicing that I'm going to do a new sequence, I'm going to add it. I will name it as read cell formula. I'm just giving the same name which I'm going to do activity, the same sequence name that I'm going to give it. Let me go ahead and let me click on create. Now if you see the sequence has been created. At the first step, what we have to do, we have to drag and drop Excel application scope to use our Excel sheet, right? Let me drag and drop Excel application scope. And now I'm going to select the same student marks which we have. Okay, let me select the student marks. And now as a do activity, what we are going to do, I'm going for the read cell formula. So in my recent, I'm having recent read cell formula, but where we can get it? If you go to available app integration, under app integration, you are having Excel. Let's expand that. And then you can see read cell formula. Let me drag and drop read cell formula on my do activity. And I'm going to drop it over here. Now, let me go with the properties first of the read cell formula. So, what is the display name? It's a common property that we have display name. I, uh, you know, by default, it is read cell formula or else if you want to calculate total formula or formula. I'm just giving, I'm just changing over here as Excel formulas. And then I'm going to click on enter. Now, if you see, it is affecting over here on the you know, read cell formula and you can see the cell. So which cell formula you want to get it? Let me go back again my Excel. Now if you see over here, there are two different cells. If you see I2 is the cell that I'm having calculated total and you can see the formula over here, right? And also here you can see in the J2. So J2 having some formula, I can see I2 divided by 600 into 100, right? These are the formulas that what we have. Now I want to get the formula over there in the sheet, particular sheet, right? So now over here, I will give it, first time I will give it the cell as I2, okay? To calculate the uh, formula of the, to get the formula of the I2 cell that I'm giving the cell name as I2 and the sheet name, by default, we're having sheet name as sheet one. 
now if you see the formula once we got the formula once we get it the formula by using this excel or read cell formula where we have to store that formula so that what i'm going to do i'm just giving the output in the formula by clicking on control k i'm going to set a variable over here and then i'm going to give the name over here output formula i'm just giving the name variable name as formula but in real time it's better to give at the variable right so i'm going to give it var output formula and just click on enter now let me go to the variables over here if you see variable output the var variable type or the data type is string and we are having the scope of do right so whatever the values we are going to storing it will be stored in string format and it will returns the output it will store the output in the variable which we have given variable output formula in the format of data type string right now to display or to print it what i'm going to do as usual that i'm going to use the message box let me drag and drop this message box and then leave it so what is the formula that i will give it as in the double quotes i'm just giving formula and then what i'm going to do i'm just concatenating with var output formula okay now it will display what kind of formula we have used in the excel while you are going to select the particular cell let me go ahead let me save it now if you see over here i have selected i2 that the formula it has to give this sum of from the cell c2 to h2 that you can see the highlighted one over here okay this is the output it has to give over here let me go ahead let me run this bot now if you see the formula i got it as sum of c2 h2 from c2 to h2 that the formula has given as over here in the particular cell you can see over here that from c2 h2 okay let me go ahead let me click on okay now this is how we are going to read the formula by using read cell formula now i will give you one more example uh, for the percentage so we got the percentage in the excel right so how we have calculated uh, what is the formula we have used to get the percentage so how can we fetch that by using our bot so now what i'm going to do i'm going to make a change over here after percentage we are having i j in j2 that we are having the percentage right let me go ahead let me save it let me run the bot now if you see the formula we have used for uh, j2 is you can see the formula i2 divided by 600 into 100 this is the formula which we have used to calculate the percentage of the marks right so this is how we are going to fetch the formula by using read cell formula i hope you understand how you are going to use the read cell formula activity in this session thank you for watching your past tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day